Okay. Hello guys, it is Ashley, and today I am doing a DIY, if you couldn't tell by the title, I am doing a DIY of a notebook. I mean, you can use a notebook for anything, but since I'm a YouTuber and I like being organized, I'm just going to make a, you, an organizer. A, I would like to call it, Ashley, use this notebook to get your life together. So... For this, you need a notebook, of course, completely blank. I understand this writing right there, but that's because I started my title already. It says, Ashley Howard's Life Organizer, a.k.a. Ashley's Book to Get Her Crap Together. That's what I also like to call it, yes. Ashley's Book to Get Her Crap Together. So, you'll basically need a pen or a pencil or a crayon or, like, a sharpie. I don't know where my sharpie went. I actually think I see it downstairs. Oh well. So basically, this is your notebook for whatever. I'm using it to the grit you cut together. So, um, yeah. You can design it however you want. You can design your title however you want. I'm just gonna design my title right now and show you guys. So I just went to over, I just went over my pencil with, um, don't mind the blue. I'm going up there. Um, with the pencil, I'm going to erase the pencil. I'm planning on doing, erasing the pencil. And I'm planning on erasing that flower because it's not, and I'm planning on like, making my little hearts and flowers and stuff more pretty and stuff. So Jay, <coughs> so change. Um, so, I basically erased it with the A and the S and the H a little bit, and I erased the pen with a little squiggly on the, I have to, like, fix it, like, redefine it, because it, like, really sucks. That's basically what you want to do. And you can also use your crayons to make little hearts and stuff. But I recommend the pencil with the eraser first, before you, like, go over it with Sharpie and stuff. So I recommend with this cardboard not to use crayon and use like pens and markers and pencil. But I don't have my sharpie, so I basically have to use um uh, uh, uh crayons. It's what it's called, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but I also uh, talk actually. But I also have a few color pencils, which color pencils work exactly like the pencil does. It's actually really really good. Um, one second, let me color this card. I mean. The purple is really light though on it for some reason. That actually looks really dark and you can still see my flower as you some more. But that's crayon, that's color pencil. I'm a little smudgy, I hate that. Just get rid of that. Um, so this is it so far. You can probably use some sort of paint or something on the front cover, like and like decorate it or like Sharpie. To like decorate or something, nail polish, anything that would like dry on it and stick and stay. Stickers! Stick stickers, yeah. You can also use something to like carving, like I think I have nail clippers. Um, I'm just carving something in with the thingy scraper thingy in the front. And then you can like go over it and mark it and it will look cool. Like, I'll show you one second. It would be like lighter than this, but I carved it in with this and then went over it in, pen in mechanical pencil so it looks darker other than just going like. Do you see how the light that looks compared to this? It's much darker. The comparison. Like, look at even changing lighting. Freaking ads. So. Or you just take your mechanical pencil and like dig it in there, like reline it, like. And instead of just doing song change, instead of like going like that, like redefine your line like this. Go over it a few times. Compare those. Compare those two lines, like. 
the darker one's the one that I like really find it with and you want it dark so it like folds out unless you want it light then don't go over it. Obviously the lead on mechanical pencil is different from the lead on normal pencil. This is a sharpened pencil. Proud of freaking safe pencil. Get your luck together. On any normal pencil. So mechanical pencil, I think mechanical pencil is much darker. Let's catch that theory. I have a mechanical pencil. I have this is actually an art pencil, so you have an art pencil in the middle. Holy crap, art pencils are dark. Um we have an art pencil in the middle. Mechanical art and normal. I guess. Let's call it normal. Even though this is an actual name. Do I have a normal sharpened pencil? Here one is. See the difference in that? Leads make a difference, you guys. Look at the middle ones. A art pencil. No, the M underneath it is mechanical. Which I said, but I think they're dark, but obviously, like, our pencils are a bunch of different types of lead. It's just, like, different types of lead. It's, let's just continue with the DIY. The back, I've done a bunch of these before. The back is really, really fun because it's, like, blank. And you just get to do creative stuff with it. Shoot. All three songs are over. I'm just going to play next. I'll tell you who's going to play next. I don't know what's gonna play next. Oh my gosh. So like I said, the back is really fun because you can like hi. Where my nail polish go? Oh well, I don't know where my nail polish went. But you can like, use crayons and like design it. I just like to apologize in advance. There is something about my religion and on my thing. It's just a cross with a heart around it. I'm sorry um, if it offends anyone. But see what I mean? You basically make it yourself. I have five seconds of summer. I have a cat whiskers. I have YouTube. I have a heart with a cross. A peace, love, happiness. Um, and I have. T R X Y E. T R X Y E. Yep, I got it! Oh, we're Trixie. <laughs> Sorry, Troy. Don't kill something. Don't kill something, please. He's never gonna watch this anyway, so I'm gonna shut up. And then there you have it. You have your stencil pad. I am not done with the front, I am not done with the back. I am nowhere close to done. But that's basically what you just go through to do it. And then you can create different sections like. Oh my gosh, um, it's actually going to be recorded on this one, so I'm going to this really quick because I don't know how much storage I have on my phone. Um, so you basically can make different sections, so yeah, and that's what you do to make your notepad personalized. And I will post a picture on my Instagram, your.geek.girl. Go follow me on Instagram, I'll put it in the um, description, and you know, and I love you all, like, subscribe, comment, if you like this DIY, give it a big thumbs up, like I just said, and I love you all, goodbye, ah!